The safety of our younger brothers, we ask that the adults with them place themselves on the outside of the road. If that's not practical, please hold them or have them easily in your reach. Thank you. Remain seated until we come to a complete stop. Keep all your body parts inside the car. No eating or no smoking. Thank you. We're on our way now to the main gate by your stone station. Fifth Creek Depot is one of the original 28 buildings in the village when we opened October 21st of 1929. It's an authentic train depot. It comes to us from Smith's Creek, Michigan, about 45 miles north northeast here, just outside of Fort Hill. The newest addition to the village campus is the open air building. And it's just on the left hand side, it says we passed Smith Street. Built in 1861 in downtown Detroit. The large brick building ahead and to the left is the Detroit Toledo and Milwaukee Roundhouse. Originally built in 1884 in Marshall, Michigan, about an hour and a half west of here. We were able to salvage. Some of the building that was structurally sound included in this one and opened it up in 2000. We do all of our service repair and maintenance on our three coal-fired steam locomotives in that building. On the other side of the roundhouse, behind the trees and bushes, is Liberty Crockworks, where the artisans do the glass blowing, pottery making, tin smithing, and so forth. And that's all open for you to visit. Somebody blowing their glass. The largest yeah. part of our working farms district will be on the right side as we complete the left turn up ahead. The Firestone Farm, built in 1828 in Columbiana County, Ohio. It is the birthplace and childhood home of Harvey Firestone. The originator of the tire and rubber company, a very good friend they had before. It's a working farm, seven and a half acres work year round, open for you to visit.